I just love a good story, don't you? The kind of stories I like best have lots of action, adventure, and laughter in them. Yes, lots of laughter. I just love to... <sighs> what are those kids up to? Oh, well, as I was saying, the best fairy tales are filled with lots of laughter. I just love a good giggle. In fact, can you picture a whole kingdom being rescued because nobody could stop laughing? <laughs> yes, laughter can be that magical. It's a neat attic. I live here, and you can visit any time. <gasps> Shh! We got company. Hey, Emily, what's red and green and weighs ten tons? Who cares? You're really acting silly today, Kevin. I'm a kid. <laughs> it's my job to be silly. Hey, I don't remember seeing any of this. Look, jewel! And a king's crown! And... <laughs> <laughs> time, in the land of Oaf, there lived an emperor who was only interested in his clothes. The more expensive, the better. But no one questioned him, for the land of Oaf was thriving. The citizens paid high taxes just to keep their emperor closed. But there was no sickness, hunger, or war. So they didn't mind. They even joked about how the emperor would never fight in a war for fear he'd get his clothes dirty. Unfortunately, just off their coast, an evil plot was being hatched. I stole these papers right out of the Emperor's pocket while he was admiring himself in a mirror. My Emperor is a fool. He was so busy listening to me tell him how wonderful he is that he never noticed. <laughs> Soon I will help the Rancor Islanders defeat the witless Emperor of Oath. Did you hear that, Artie? This Emperor guy must be the greatest sucker of all time. I gotta think of some way to prey on his vanity. Ah, uh, gee, Sly, I don't think praying is gonna help. Artie, old pal, I think you've been eating too much Swiss cheese. Why is that, Sly? Because you've developed some holes in your thinking. Now try not to make any noise whilst I hatch a plot here. I won't even breathe, Sly. Good. <gasps> breathe! <laughs> Thanks, Sly. Uh, you're a real pal. Why me? Because we're funny. Sir Slippery! I've come to see the Emperor. Let me pass. Yes, sir. What a waste. Well, everything will be different when our enemies, the Rancor Islanders, defeat this ridiculous emperor. Mm. <laughs> What's this? I can't see my back properly. Sabafoon! Yes, Your Grace. What are you doing? How can I tell if my hair is properly combed if my mirror isn't in place? There, how's that? Better. Ah, uh, but what do you think? Oh, oh, your grace's hair is always perfectly in place. Oh, you're so right. Now, Sir Buffoon, what do you think about this? Um, um, what do you think of it, Your Majesty? Excellent question, since my opinion is the only one that counts. But 
it just for the sport of it. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I think it's not imperial enough, and it makes me look bad. Oh, it's exactly as your majesty says. What? I dare you to find an ounce of fat on me. Go ahead, pinch. Would you? I would say that's at least an ounce. Who told you that you could touch the royal stomach? Why, 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 why you did, your majesty. Are you calling the king a liar? Oh, of course not, your majesty. Quite right. Oh. Oh, your majesty, didn't you have an appointment with the royal wardrobe mistress? Oh, my goodness, you're right. I'm late for my appointment with Matilda. Your Majesty, wait for me! Matilda, your Emperor awaits. Keep your pants on, I'm coming! What have you got? Oh, what have you got? I believe this would look wonderful on your Majesty. No, no, no. What do you think, Sir Buffoon? Your Majesty is, of course, right. What else have you got? Not purple enough. Too long. Oh, too short. Too much. Is that all you've got? Is that all? This is three months' work, and there's nothing wrong with any of it. Nothing wrong? I didn't like any of it. But what about you, Sir Buffoon? Mm -hmm. Who? Who, me? Oh, oh, I think you're absolutely right. See, Matilda, what did I tell you? Now then, what else have you got for me to see? There's nothing wrong with these clothes that a new emperor couldn't fix. What was that? I didn't hear you. I said, uh, I hoped your majesty would be more pleased with these selections. We shall see. No. No, I don't think so. Simply awful. I already have ten just like that. Well, Matilda, what else you got? What else? Well, there is nothing else. This is it. All my work rejected. You didn't like one thing. That's all? What kind of a wardrobe mistress are you? I want to see more clothing now. What is it? Good morning, Your Majesty. Nice haircut. Oh, you really think so? Oh, yes, sire. It's really you. I see today was a fashion show. How did it go? In a word? <laughs> However, tomorrow it will go much better, won't it, Matilda? Tomorrow? But that's not nearly enough time. His Majesty, the Emperor of Oaf, has visitors. Visitors? Oh, goody gumdrops. Who are they? They are two weavers who've come a great distance to see your majesty. <gasps> weavers? Oh, goody, goody gumdrops. Send them into the throne room immediately. Announce this already. Presenting Sylvester and Arthur, weavers to the crowned heads of the world. But you can call us Sly and Artie, your majesty. Terrific job. Now I am scray. Oh, I'm impressed. You got quite a place here, Your Majesty. The best for the best. Yes, sir. Your reputation for luxury, beauty, and good taste is known far and wide. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Everyone knows what a chump you are. <laughs> My associate here means that you're the champ when it comes to searching out the finer things. I do? I mean, yeah, that, that, that's exactly what I mean. He, he said it, yeah. Hmm, how nice to know. So, how may I help you? No, 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 Your Majesty. It's how we may help you. Huh? Well, uh, oh. Audie and I have dressed kings and queens across the land. 
Shoulders, 52. The king of vainglory wouldn't dream of wearing clothing made by anyone but us. Inseam, 37. Outseam, 43. Head, 12. Naturally, only the highborn can appreciate our work. Chest, 44. Waist, 32. Ooh. Really? Of course! Only someone with exquisite taste can see the beauty and workmanship in our clothes. Neck 18. Fools and anyone not loyal to the Emperor claim to see nothing at all. Will I be able to see it? Of course you will. You make the clothes. Oh. And you, the highest of the highborn, will certainly be able to appreciate the variety of purples woven into the fabric and the 24 karat gold thread used to stitch the intricate designs. I will? I mean, of course I will. I command you both to begin to work at once. You're not really going to fall for this, are you? Who asked you? I'm consulted in all matters of the Emperor's clothing. I'm the wardrobe mistress. Well, la-dee-da. But, Your Majesty! Say no more. I'm very interested in seeing what these weavers can do. Don't forget, Matilda, I've already seen what you can do. Now for the little matter of price. You see, the fabric is made of real gold fibers, and right now the price of gold is down, so if you act quickly, you can get a discount. How much? How much you got? <laughs> This'll do for a down payment. Ooh, we made a good haul, huh, Sly? Yeah, we did, Artie. But did you see how much more was in that treasury? <laughs> Don't forget, this is just a down payment. We won't get the rest until we deliver the goods. What goods, Sly? The clothes, Artie. How many times do I gotta remind you? We're weavers. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> But, Sly, I, I don't know nothing about weaving. Don't worry, Artie. I got a plan. But first, we gotta buy supplies. Did you hear? Only fools can't see the clothes. Can you imagine? And we'll need the largest loom you have. Deliver the stuff to this address tomorrow. Here, this ought to take care of it. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Quiet! This is serious business. I can't help but fly. I feel silly. Just keep working, Artie. Pretty soon, you'll feel rich. No, no, no. Take it away. Uh. Oh, oh, but it's a stunning likeness. It's atrocious. The clothes are completely out of style. All he can think about is that special suit of clothes. Uh, uh, I'm surrounded by fools. Your Majesty. Oh, are my new clothes ready? What new clothes? My new clothes. What else? Well, uh, actually... Well? Well, I was not one, but I was not one of the Ridiculous rumors. The Ranker Islanders have never invaded before. Shush. Why would they invade now? Oh, why won't anyone tell me something interesting, like the progress being made on my new clothes? Why don't you just go and have a look? Certainly you're not worried about appearing to be a fool, are you? Uh, no. Of course not. Me? Oh, yes, your highness. Make way for the emperor's minister. <coughs> the emperor has sent me to inspect your progress. Oh! Beautiful, isn't it? Is it possible that I'm a fool? <laughs> What's the matter? Can't you see all the beautiful shades of purple already interwoven in the fabric? 
Why, yes, of course. <laughs> Maybe that shade of purple right there is a little off. It'll be fixed right away. Perhaps I should point out some of the more intricate patterns, just so you can describe it accurately to the Emperor. Isn't it fabulous? Totally marvelous! A completely stupendous sight! Now everything about it is guaranteed to suit him just right! Go on and try it on for size! You won't believe your rise! Just see for yourself! It fits like nothing else! The finest of fabrics that's always in style. It's tailored to look just right. It's perfect for summer, winter, or fall, and will sure keep you warm at night. It's a perfect fit, down to every stitch. Right for every occasion, there'll even be a standing ovation. Completely stupendous sight! Oh, yeah! Oh, yes, indeed. There are many lovely purples and lots and lots of glitter and gold. You will absolutely shimmer. Do it all over again and don't skip anything. Oh, but your highness, I've already told it 17 times. Again? Very well. Announcing his royal highness, the Emperor of Oof. Your highness, you do our humble shop, Anna. Oh, Anna Shmana, I want to see the material. Isn't it marvelous? Everyone that's seen it has practically swooned with ecstasy. What's the matter? Don't you like it? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, no, uh, uh, it's not that. Um, Matilda! <laughs> what do you think? Uh, me? Oh, uh, what do I think? Yes. What do I think? I think it's marvelous. I wish I had the talent to weave so well. Perhaps one day you'll share your secret with me. Nobody's going to call me a fool. <laughs> exactly as I said. You two are the best. And from now on, you shall each have the title Royal Weaver of the Purple Cloths. Be at the castle Sunday morning. Come, Matilda, we have plans to make. These are the leggings. Smoother than silk with a purple so sheer they're almost see-through. This is the tunic jacket, lined with a special lavender material that would make satin feel coarse. This, of course, is the shirt. Note the delicate periwinkle ruffles, perfectly stylish and manly. Your sash, in a mauvish hue, of course. And finally, the piece de resistance, your imperial robe of state. Trimmed in purple violet ermine with a dye to match capelet. As you can see, it's embroidered in gold with lilac and fuchsia brocade. So, what do you say, Your Majesty? Shall we try it on? Oh, yes! I can just see me in it. Leggings! Right foot first, Your Majesty. Snug, huh? Incredible. You ain't seen nothing yet. Shirt. This material is lighter than a spider's web, so it may feel like you're wearing nothing at all. But that's the beauty of such a fine fabric. You only get what you pay for. Tunic jacket. Sash. How do I look? Mere words could never do you justice. 
quite right. Are you satisfied, Your Majesty? Oh, completely. <laughs> then all that's left is the matter of the rest of the money you owe us. Take this to the Treasury. They'll take care of you. Thank you, Your Highness. You're most generous. <laughs> you are a handsome devil, aren't you? I wear the finest threads in all the land And everyone can see just what I am My frock fits all so perfectly As everyone I'm sure can plainly see Look! From my regal nose It's so shiny To my royal toes they're so tiny. I will expose in full repose my brand new clothes. Because my tail is weaved so cleverly that every stitch reveals a part of me and word will spread across this land that no emperor has ever dressed or looked so grand. From my regal nose to my royal toes, they're so in, they're out. I will expose in full repose when my tail is so, so my kingdom knows how my stature shows in my best new clothes. My brand new clothes my brand new clothes! <laughs> Enter! The parade awaits your majesty's presence! Well, what do you think of my new clothes? Do you think the citizens will like them? Without a doubt, anyone who doesn't like your new clothes is obviously a fool. I knew that. Now carry my royal train. All your goofiness, you're going to make a complete fool of yourself. He can't hear you, and even if he could, he wouldn't listen. I've heard it's the most magnificent thing he's worn yet. Well, I've seen it, and I can tell you it is. Really? Wait till you see. Well, when's the Emperor coming? Remember, everyone will be in the center of town attending the Emperor's Parade. We can capture the entire Empire without a fight. Look at the Emperor's clothes. They're even more wonderful than I heard. Oh, he must have spent the entire treasury. I heard he did. Well, it was well worth it. Oh, this is my crowning glory. Hooray! Why isn't the Emperor wearing any clothes? <gasps> Did you hear that? Someone doesn't see the Emperor's new clothes. He must be a fool. Look at the Emperor. He's not wearing any clothes. Shh. He's wearing polka dot underwear. That boy doesn't see the Emperor's new clothes. He must be a fool. But I don't see anything but polka dot underwear. Neither do I. The Emperor is naked! <laughs> you will all surrender immediately! I said surrender! I demand to know what is so funny! <laughs> the Emperor! <laughs> He's naked! <laughs> well, well, I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Not at this time.
time, Your Highness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're laughing at me. At least you saved the kingdom. Yes, I saved the kingdom. I did? How? Well, you look so ridiculous that everyone's laughter drove the invaders out of here. <laughs> Ooh, yes. I did do that, didn't I? Even the invaders are laughing. You're a hero. I am? Oh, I am. Onward, my friends. Yeah! And with that, the invasion from Ranker Island collapsed. Even though the Emperor had made a fool of himself, he had led his citizens and restored his kingdom. And they all lived happily ever after. That was funny. But do you think the Emperor ever got dressed? Sure. Matilda, his wardrobe lady, saw to it every day because the Emperor agreed to marry her if she'd quit teasing him about the parade. Did she? What do you think? Goodbye. No way. She was a big tease, like someone else I know. Who, me? <laughs> the world of timeless tales is a magical world in which all stories end happily. In the real world, though, we live in a fragile environment where plants and animals and people all depend on each other. But grown-ups have made mistakes, and now we need your help to make our world better. For instance, if you turn off the water while you're brushing your teeth and turn off the lights when you leave a room, there'll be more water and energy for everyone. And if you plant a tiny tree in your yard, it'll grow into a big tree which will help clean the air. If we all work together, we can make our world a better place to live in and play in.